Garner's death. My legal panel joins me to answer some of your questions. We have a lot of them. HLN law enforcement analyst Mike is back. Mike Brooks, CNN legal analyst, criminal defense attorney Danny Savalos, and also criminal defense attorney Janet Johnson back with us. Janet, always good to see you. I'll start with this, Thanks, the illegal chokehold. It's a big talker online. I'm going to toss around some of the questions that we've mm -hmm. been getting. And I'll start with you, Mike. Carla asks, because you know you are being recorded, why would you do anything illegal like a chokehold, Mike. So if you're an officer and you're there, are you right. paying attention to the cameras? Well, no, you're, you're trying to get that person on the ground. Right. And then the question is, was that actually an arm bar, an illegal chokehold? You know, some people say yes, some people say no. Uh, when, he got, when he was down on the ground, was that an illegal chokehold? You know, how did he die? Was it because of the chokehold or did he have pre-existing conditions that caused him to have a heart attack? And, Jenna, a lot of people are wondering why the victim didn't just cooperate with police. Kevin asked right. this. Why didn't the guy just comply with the officer? Sometimes staying calm is the best thing to do. So hindsight, Janet, I doubt he thought he was going to die that day and that because he didn't uh, put his hands behind his back right away that that would happen to him. Um, what do you think is going to come out of this in terms of the autopsy? I think a lot more answers, a uh, lot more questions will be answered once the autopsy comes back. I think they will, but, you know, he's illegally selling cigarettes, allegedly, and I've had clients who were tased. I've had all kinds of force used on my clients. When it's a misdemeanor or even a municipal ordinance, you just don't expect, even if they are resisting, for that kind of violence to escalate. I mean, the one thing I have to say is the autopsy will be revealing, but I'm glad that somebody was allowed to videotape. And I think, Mike, you know, as a former police officer, you'll agree, when you have nothing to hide, you don't mind having videotape. And maybe that's their defense. A lot of police officers stop my clients or their loved ones from videotaping that kind of procedure. And I'm just glad we have that, even though it's awful to look at. And this wasn't the first time Mr. Garner had been arrested. He had been arrested over 30, 30 times. Yeah. So, you know, he, 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 knew, like, what, he knew what, what, he was, what was expected of him when it comes to law enforcement confronting him. Also on Facebook, Anton agrees saying if the man didn't resist, he'd be alive, comply, and you won't die. But Diego fired back Danny saying, since when is it justified to receive an instant death sentence from the police for yeah. resisting arrest? And again, the autopsy is not back. Right. We do not know if he would have died that day or if he had a pre-existing condition and that exacerbated that. Yeah, I said this before. I mean, there is the part where when you are under arrest, there is zero talking yourself out of being under arrest. And for some reason, sometimes people think they can do that. You know, this case brings up discrimination, but not the kind of discrimination that you think I'm going to say. I actually see this a lot in cases. I see size discrimination. I want to hear what Mike Brooks has to say about this, because I'm sure this has happened to him a lot. But when you're 6'3", 200 plus pounds, uh, they're going to bring more officers to arrest you than if you're my Aunt Edna Couple and you're 110 left, pounds. You yeah, he's six, he was 6'3", 350, at least wow. 350 pounds. All right, we also have new But they called him a gentle today. giant. They call him a gentle well, giant. They call me that you know, too. So but yeah, I got nicknames. <laughs> None of them are no, accurate. They don't. <laughs> Gotta get to Aaron Hernandez, guys. New developments here in the murder case, including a date. We now know when one of his trials will begin, and the latest on medical records.